All right, y'all, it's your favorite adventure buddy, Adventure Brad. And I wanted to share with you something I thought was pretty neat. But first off, it's a very redneck idea, so we need to start with a beer. Or an adult beverage, because it's YouTube. So anyways, my plan was to build the traditional outboard stand. So I got the conduit bender and I bent something. And you know, I was gonna do the little forky thing in the stand and whatever, and I got wheels, and obviously, timber! The wheels went to doing other things. Um, that we'll talk about later as I perfect it, but that's a cart for the catamaran outboard. Um, but I started doing all this, and I started to build, like I said, I started building that, looking, and in my pile of random stuff I just build out of right here. Um, I had grandma's old walker. Grandma has since passed on from the world and uh, she sure was a hell of a grandmother and it's kind of neat that she's living on. So versus, you know, all that effort and screwing and hardware and measuring and math and no, nah, we just literally, literally, look at this, I could operate it one-handed. Oh, it's not the safest thing to do. I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. But <laughs> I bolted on. And I kept this redneck as heck, just for the point of it. But I bolted on a place of metal that I had laying around. Uh, actually, left over from a hot rod that I did. And I bolted that on, and I put this over the top because even though I ground and filed this off, it was still a little rough, so I didn't want to tear it up. And it just kind of adds that redneck feel. Block of wood. Um, you know, at first I thought about it, I would put screw it, change the angle, do something, but it's actually kind of really convenient to be able to drop the block of wood out, put it into the forward position, and then I could reach down and put my foot here, yeah, and pull on it like this, and get the motor in tilted position. Then I pick it up off of here, go put it in the truck, and then it's a lot easier when I get to the lake to put it on the, the boat, uh, it's all ready to go on the transom because I'm carrying it at an angle. But yeah, real simple. Um, obviously, without that block of wood, it's gangster lean. Um, I've adjusted these, so with the block of wood and everything, it sits nice. <laughs> it's super simple. I, you know, you really can't beat it. I got a tub over here that I use for if I need to run it or do an oil change or whatever. It fits right underneath. And... You can't beat simple. It folds up if I needed to take it somewhere or do something else. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you my ultimate redneck walker stand outboard carrier thing in her my bobber. Yeah. And who was that? What would you guys think of a cigarette boat with a six horse on it? Plywood, stitch and glue. Mmm. Yeah, because that, <clears throat> yeah, that ain't going to do well. So anyways, this is Adventure Brad, and we are out of here to the lake. To the lake, ye matey. Avasti, keep the powder dry. Arr, arr, arr.